I have an unboxing today from Fashion File. It is a limited edition Louis Vuitton piece that has been on my wish list for a few years. So let's open it up and hopefully it's everything I have dreamed it will be. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is on your YouTube homepage, you get to see my community posts where I post deals and discount codes and great finds related to these items that we all love. All right, let's get into this. Like I said, it's from Fashion File. It's a Louis Vuitton item. It is a limited edition item. It is pre-loved because it is no longer sold. Discontinued. Just got the box cut open. Let's open it up. A subscriber actually told me that this piece was available. Um, he, I think it was a he if I remember correctly, saw my wish list 2021 video and this was on there. He saw it come up on Fashion File and told me about it and I went over and checked it out. I have to say it was a little more expensive than I wanted to pay for this item. However, when I priced similar items, they were a lot more than this was listed for. Relatively speaking, this was a good price, so I picked it up, got a Fashion File. I kind of wish they wouldn't send these things because I have like five of them already and I'm not really a nail file person. I've used them a couple times, but it's not really my thing. Lots of confetti in there. Winnie B. LV, I was watching one of her recent unboxings of a little Gucci item that she got from Fashion File. And she was saying that the confetti isn't her thing and she wishes she she wishes that they wouldn't send it. I don't mind the confetti, but I'm not crazy about the circles. And the reason for that is because they're flat and they get caught in things and then they just stack together like this little stack here. I kind of wish they would go back to the old crinkly stuff that had more substance and was a little more fun. The circles I find a little bit annoying, but I mean, so what? It's you're unboxing something from Fashion File, it's all good. Receipt in here, and I'm sure some advertising. And then the item is in this package. I do like how they have started wrapping things in paper. I feel like they didn't used to do that, if I remember correctly. And then there's just some padding on the bottom there. Used is the new new. I think this may have come with a Louis Vuitton dust bag, but I don't remember exactly. The listing said it was in excellent condition, so we will see. Um, they do usually wrap things in a fashion file dust bag. And whew, let me straighten it out a little bit before I pull it out. Here's the tag. These it says, it says certificate of authenticity. The item has been inspected by our team of expert authenticators and is backed by our lifetime guarantee of authenticity. Does anybody have any guesses? Louis Vuitton, limited edition, small item from my wish list. Are we ready? I'm excited about this. I have a little peek of it here and I've never seen one in person. It has a zipper, I just zipped it up so it's nice and presentable. I want it to be perfect for you all. It looks perfect so far. When I pull it out, here's a hint. Hmm, any guesses now? It is oh, so beautiful. It is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the trunks and locks print. Oh, let's see. Very pretty. The animation looks great. I don't see any little like chips in it or anything. Looks great. So that's the only place that you have the animation is right on front. There's nothing on the sides or the back or the bottom of the bag. And then it has these stripes here and that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and it also has the striped leather zipper pull which has two pieces of leather and you unzip that and inside oh it's a little different than I was expecting okay inside I thought it was going to be the same color that's on the interior of a monogram mini pochette but it's not, it's a little bit lighter. So I was going to say that the interior is just no different from a regular one and that in some other animation mini pochettes they'll put a different color inside. So I guess this one is a different color. It's a lighter tan, very nice. So what I wanna do now 
is just compare this a little bit to my monogram mini pochette, show you a couple of the differences, and show you what I have in my monogram mini pochette and show you how I plan to use this one because I do plan to use it differently. But let me do a little inspection on the hardware and see if I see any other issues and you know, all the little details here. And I'll also tell you what I paid for it. And we'll talk a little bit about this limited edition series so you have more information on that if you're interested. I'm looking something up right now. Okay, what I was looking up is what it says right here. It says Louis Vuitton Inventure, and I don't speak French, so forgive my pronunciation, but obviously that would be inventor. And it says De la Trois Gris Trianon, uh, or Gris Trianon, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, so what that means is Louis Vuitton inventor of the gray Trianon, Trianon canvas. And what that means, and I know this from my recent video about the history of the Damier event print from Louis Vuitton, is the very first trunks that Louis Vuitton invented were solid gray, and that was called the gray Trianon or Trianon. So that's a picture of what would have been the original Louis Vuitton trunk, and that's what made the brand famous. So that's pretty cool. I'd never really put that together. The edges of the leather here look perfect. I don't see any discoloration on the chain or anywhere else on the hardware. Usually when these pieces are used for a while, some of the gold starts to come off and you can see the silver underneath it. And there is, there is a little tag in there with the date code. It's a leather tab. I'll try to get it where I can read it. It says SF2193. So we already know it's made in France, so that's what SF stands for, and it's the 29th week of 2013. So this piece looks absolutely brand new, and it is eight years old, and that's one of the reasons that we like Louis Vuitton, at least older pieces, because many of them wear very well like this. Okay, let me show you some differences between these pouches. I'll turn this around so they look the same. So the main difference is, um, obviously besides the animation, is that you have the different leather on the tabs there, and then you have the different zipper pulls, and that's pretty much it. Otherwise, they are the same. And this is interesting. I've never seen this before on a fashion file piece. There's this little plastic thing, and it says, snip the tag to make this beauty yours, no returns once removed. So I guess they've changed this because it used to just be a tag that was attached. And I don't recall seeing the plastic thing before. But yes, otherwise the pochettes are the same size. Nothing else has changed about them. This is beautiful, I love it. Okay, let me show you what I have in this one and how I'll use that one. And then we'll talk about this design a little bit and some other pieces that you can find in that design. Here is what I have in this bag right now. I have medication that I always carry around for my back problems in case it acts up on me and I need emergency meds. I have band-aids and alcohol wipes. I have a coach card holder with my medical cards in it, in case of emergency. My Chanel double-sided mirror opens up like that. One side is regular magnification and one is awful really close up one. And at the bottom, I have my little Swiss Army knife, and this was given to me by a teacher the other day. A little coconut covered in chocolate candy thing. And that's all that I have in here. So that has been in my handbag for about a week now. But how I plan to use this is not as a handbag thing. Some of you know I'm a planner person. I have a bunch of planners, and my favorite print of all the Louis Vuitton canvas prints is the Damier Ben. So I have several planners in the Damier Ben print. And I was thinking one thing that I could do with this pouch, which of course is also in the Damier Event print, is I could use it as a little planner pouch. I use sticky notes a lot in my planners, so I could take some of these little square ones that I use especially and put those in. And I also have these cute little animal ones, sticky notes, put those in. I have cute little bookmarks to obviously mark pages. I always use a gold pen I use gold and black, so I write with the black and then the gold I'll use for titles or bullet points or lines. I don't do a whole lot of decorating, but that will fit in here too. I always want to have two of those with me because I use them often enough that they run out and then I need another one. And notice it's not a click pen 
So there's no chance that that cap is gonna come off and spill inside of this. And here's one of my black pens, so I'll put that in as well. I also have some stickers. These are really cute. I got these on Etsy. I'll link the website below if she's still in business, because I got these a while ago. So I use these to mark like my paydays in my planner, so I'll put those in. I also have this ruler in the back of my desk agenda. I have all this stuff. I'm thinking some of this needs to go in the mini pochette because it kind of falls out everywhere. Those of you who have seen some of my planner videos know that I do a divider page for each new month. I'll show you an example. So here is March from last year. So I'll do a piece of scrapbook paper and then this one has some gold over it and then I do writing on this side with a little calendar with important dates a quote and then a little journal entry at the bottom. So I have the quotes cut out here and I have little calendar pages or little monthly calendars. And then I also have this ruler that was back there. This is the thing that falls out the most because it has weight to it. So it shifts around a lot. Should be able to f maybe fit this in here. No, that's gonna be too big. Yeah, unfortunately that's a little bit too long. I got this metal ruler from Erin Condren. If anybody's interested, I can link that below too. But getting those little papers out really cleans this up. I still have some things in there, but they're things that are more decorative. So it's by no means full, and I have other stickers that I could put in. Here's what I have in there, and I think that would be just a fabulous little pencil pouch or planner pouch to have with my planners and it looks so pretty with it and this is perfect this does everything i needed the pencil pouch to do and more because it holds the stickers and the little sticky notes and everything it's perfect and then i can also use it if i wanted to inside other bags or as a little mini bag by itself just like i use my other pochettes the trunks and bags Vuitton also has a pattern called trunks and locks so don't get those confused this is oh wait I just got them confused. This is trunks and locks, and they also have one called trunks and bags, so don't get that confused. They are very easily confused. Some other pieces that I was considering in this print, there's a bag charm. You know, depending, I may still wanna get that at some point if I can find one that's in great condition and a price I wanna pay. And there's also a PM agenda that has this design on front, and then when you open it up, the interior of the agenda is the leather stripes. It's very pretty. And my guess, having seen pictures of trunks, is these stripes are probably what was lining the interior of this original trunk, or at least one of the trunks at some point. The trunks and locks also comes in a monogram background, but that trunk is red. I'll put a picture of it here, and I prefer this color combination. Red is not my color. These are not super, super rare. They come up on the pre-loved market. They don't come up like all the time, but if you keep searching for them, you'll find them. You'll find them come up a few times a year at least. You know what? I'm just noticing that these chains are different. Yeah, they sure are. So let me show you that. Can you tell the difference there? This one is the newer one on my monogram piece, and this is the older one on the limited edition. This is a nicer chain. It's It has a flat edge to it. You can see how it catches the light there. Whereas this one, the one on the monogram is more rounded. The monogram one is more thin too, and the one on the limited edition is a thicker chain. So interesting. I told you I was going to tell you what I paid for this. This pouch was purchased a few years ago. Let's see if I can find the date code on it and tell you exactly when it was. It was purchased in 2017 for $315. So this was 2013. I don't know what they were going for back then. I wasn't buying Louis Vuitton in 2013. So if anybody knows, just let us know down below. But the price of the plain mini pochettes, the plain canvas ones, it was 315 in 2017, and now it's 400 something like the high 400s, it's nearing $500. The limited editions are always a little bit more than that. If you look on a place like Fashion File, this one, they have this listed, again, excellent condition, for $515, which is not much over current retail on one of the plain ones. It's more than I wanted to pay. I would rather be around three or 400, but that's maybe not realistic. And when I looked at the plain canvas pouches on Fashion File and some of the limited editions, they were going for more like 700, 800. There are some, I've seen some at $1,000, some even a little more than $1,000 for a mini pochette. It's insane. So when I saw that, even though 515 was a little more than I wanted to pay for this, I thought, 
oh, that seems like, relatively speaking, a really good price for it, so I should get it. Like I said, I've been looking for one of the pieces in this line, the bag charm, this, or the agenda, for years now. Um, I've had the chance to buy the agenda before, and I have been nervous about that because the animations make me nervous. I've seen so many pre-loved where the animation is worn off. That's from a lot of use and moving in and out and things rubbing against it, like moving in and out of your bag and things rubbing against it. I know a uh, an Agenda PM I want to keep inside my bag and it's going to rub against things and I didn't want that to get damaged. I don't want to pay a lot for a Louis Vuitton piece only to damage it, right? So that's another reason I thought this may be best as a planner pouch rather than a pouch inside my bags. So this would be something that wouldn't be in and out of bags as often. It would be something that I carry around with me more. By the way, I'm definitely keeping this, so let's chop the tag off. It is officially mine, because that thing is getting in the way. This is a keeper. It's gorgeous. The price was reasonable enough, again, relatively speaking. That's my unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit about this line. I did. I learned what that says. And if you're not familiar with this line, um, and now you're in love with it, I apologize because <laughs> it's taken me this long to find one in great condition at a price I was willing to pay, but worth it, worth the wait. So that's one checked off the wish list. Thank you again to the subscriber who let me know about this because I don't know if I would have seen it otherwise. And thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.